Hello friends and welcome back. Today we are tackling the one and the only Trader Joe's. Now all of you know that I'm a good old Canadian and we don't have Trader Joe's in Canada but all I kept seeing on my For You page on TikTok and on YouTube is like all the delicious fall Trader Joe items. And I'm like I just want to try them and I want to be a part of them and I just want to like I just want the experience, you know? And so I was looking, being like, can I get Trader Joe's in some weird, sketchy way in Canada? Could not. Could not find something. I mean, I, met, I bet I could pay someone to, like, drive across the border, but we're not that extreme. So I thought, instead, I chose, I watched so many uh, Trader Joe's, like, fall hauls on TikTok and on YouTube of, like, the best and, like, most highly rated things for fall. I decided we're going to make them at home. And this is great for anybody who doesn't- I think Trader Joe's is only American, right? I think it's only in America, it's not in like Europe or anything, I believe. But this will be great for anybody else who doesn't have Trader Joe's or maybe even who wants to save a couple bucks. I'm sure it's cheaper to make it from scratch than it is to buy it. So then again, Trader Joe's is so inexpensive. So maybe I'm lying and maybe this is going to be 10 times more expensive, but we're going to have fun and it's going to be great. So on the menu today is the pumpkin waffles with the pumpkin cream cheese frosting are like dr dressing? Yeah, pumpkin cheese, pumpkin cream cheese frosting. Yeah, butternut squash mac and cheese, the honey roasted ravioli, and then as a snack, the maple sea salt popcorn. So it is breakfast time. Well, I got up a little late today, so it's a little later than breakfast time. But I digress. We are going to make the pumpkin waffles. Got my big old. Can of pumpkin, and we're gonna make a bunch of waffles. I just want to give a shout out to Nora. Wait, I want to give a shout out to Nora Cooks because all of her recipes are literally bomb. I've never, like, you know how like sometimes recipes are hit and miss, but like all of her stuff is like always amazing. So, so shout out to her because they're really good. Oh my gosh, that's such a pretty color. So we all know the good old Mickey Mouse waffle maker. I swear, I swear I have a regular waffle maker. It's just buried somewhere in the basement and I can't find it. So we just always go back to the Mickey one, which is cool because it has like double sides. So it does like a lot really quick, but I just miss like the simplicity of a large, you know, four quartered waffle. But Mickey Mouse just had our back, so we can't turn on him now. And you just flip it on the side. Boom, bam. Thank you, man. Okay, so while the waffles are cooking, I'm going to make the pumpkin cheesecake frosting to go on top of them. Yeah, this is all. It's nice. Add a little bit of tofuti. I'm gonna pick up, sorry, what? Fish scenes, fish tanks. Been... All right, there's my little Mickey boys. So we're going to spread a little butter or a lot of butter. I could honestly just eat waffles, like the savory sweet thing. Mm. Don't even need anything else, just a little bit of butter. It is a little liquidier than I would have hoped, but that's okay. We Now we make really cool designs with it. Oh my gosh, do I work at a five-star restaurant or do I work at a five-star restaurant? Look at that. Oh, and then we're gonna just do a dash. A diddly dash maple syrup. Oh my God, that was so much more than a dash. They are so fluffy, like they're so light and airy. Okay, you ready? Mm. Wow. Trader Joe's 
too. That is so good. The cream cheese frosting, exceptional. The waffles themselves, so light. And I am way more like a savory person over sweet, especially for breakfast stuff. But that is so good. You guys, you have to make these. These are so good. Okay, so we've had a little setback. The power has gone out. I was just about to make lunch. Like this never happens, but it's so windy out today. I guess something knocked over a power line and I'll keep you posted. <laughs> All right, so the power's back on. We are live, we are back. Uh, for lunch, we are gonna do the butternut squash mac and cheese. I just spent the last three hours of my life shaving off the skin of this butternut squash. And now we're gonna chop that up. Now the recipe that I found says um, just to boil it all, like boil it with the onion and stuff. But I am gonna roast it a little bit beforehand. Just to get that extra like flavor out of it because it's really good when it's roasted. So we're gonna roast it at 425 for like 15 minutes and then I'm gonna boil it for about 10 minutes along with the onion and the cashews. So I served up a little bit of tofu and some hemp hearts. Oh yeah, I should mix the tofu in. A little extra creaminess. It's kind of funny, it's very similar to a butternut squash soup that I make, I bet no cashews in it, but I guess the cashews are what makes it really creamy. Also, there's no water in it, so I guess it's not technically a soup, because a soup would have water. Now it's really, really tasty. You can really taste the subtle notes of fall, you know, like a little bit of nutmeg in there. I would give that a solid like 9.5 out of 10. That's really good. Like really, really good. Trader Joe's, I mean, Megan, you've really outdone yourself. Okay, so it is now dinner time and I'm going to make the pumpkin honey roasted ravioli. So for the inside, I'm gonna make just that classic like tofu ricotta that I make all the time with my firm tofu. And then, I don't know if you guys remember it in an older video, I use these bad boys, which are dumpling wrappers as the ravioli shell and they worked phenomenally, so much easier than obviously making ravioli from scratch. And it is kind of late and I am feeling kind of lazy. So I'm probably going to use these as the shell, even though the shell, the ones from Trader Joe's are like that really pretty orange. I thought that maybe I could, hear me out. I was like, how can I dye the water orange when I cook them so then they maybe have an orange tint? And I was like, I could juice a carrot, but I don't know if I want to do that. And then I'm like, maybe I could add a little pumpkin puree in the water. I'm like, I don't know if that's potent enough, but then I have, this drink mix that's red and then I have turmeric that's yellow and like red and yellow makes orange, right? So I was like, I can put some of that in the water and then hope that it dyes it orange. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. literally eat this with honey by the spoonful. Or a full bowl.
look at how cute they have turned out. I would say they're like almost orange. They're definitely yellow-ish. But if you squint your eye just a little bit, they look orange. How cute! And then we've got the brown butter sauce underneath, so let's give them a try. So I haven't done the dishes yet, which is why I'm eating with a spoon. But uh, let's give it a go. Rowan, what do you think? Delicious. Delicious? Delicious. And Rowan is kind of intolerant to pumpkin, so that means it is really good. Mmm, that's really good. Again, it's hitting that perfect, like, savory sweet thing because the ricotta on the inside is like has a nice salty to it but the brown butter cream sauce that is so good. you just can't go wrong with a delicious sweet butter sauce but i do not recommend eating it with a spoon all right to finish up the day i was supposed to make the salty the maple salty popcorn or something or what it was called but I was gonna do that, but then I remember to have these bad boys in there. Sweet and salty kettle corn chips. And they're absolutely delicious. And in my mind, I ate one of these earlier, Charlie gave me one. I was like, this really reminds me of, I think, what the maple popcorn would taste like. Like they're sweet, they're salty, they're delicious. And if we just pretend, that this says Trader Joe's instead of Popcorners. Everything is gonna be okay. Guys, these are scary good. Like these are scary addictive. Tyler's mom got it for us. Like scary good. Scary. Well guys, we've come to an end. Thank you so much for watching. I love you loads. Um. We'll see you in the next one.